Hi, I'm Anna. And tonight we're preparing for a unique party where culture and cuisine collide. More and more, the urban dweller is hungry for unique experiences that will heighten the senses. In recent years, we've seen the trend of molecular gastronomy, where foods are reworked at the molecular level to create brand new tastes. Tonight's party will follow along the same lines, but it features a rare West African berry that alters the flavor of foods. These parties, miracle berry parties, have been popping up all over the world, from New York to Tokyo. So I'm here with Tyler Clark Burke. I hear you're organizing a pretty unusual party tonight. Can you tell me a bit about it? Sure, I'm actually really excited. We're bringing Miracle Fruit to Toronto for the first time. We're gonna try all sorts of different foods and change the flavors and have a party. What is a Miracle Berry? Where, is, where does it come from? It's from Africa. It's a little red fruit that grows on bushes and it's something that people have been eating for hundreds of years to enhance flavor and just make things taste fantastic. So how do they work? Well, you know, no one actually really knows, but scientists call one part of the berry miraculin, and it just really makes everything taste amazing. It coats your tongue, and it fills like the sensors that would fill, like taste sour, or um, sort of like maybe the lousier parts of <laughs> food. It, it fills those in, so it allows your tongue to actually just sense sweetness but it also amplifies all flavor. So now that Tyler's told us a little bit about how the berries work, I'm pretty excited to try it for myself. Okay, so what we do is we put the, the berry in our mouth and we slowly remove the flesh from the seed and keep that flesh on our tongue for two minutes. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so I'm ready to dig in, are you? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm lying. Here we go. Mm, that is so sweet. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow, it's just like limeade. It's delicious. <laughs> it's like candy. Okay, so this I can't wait for. Yeah, this should be good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Still has like butteriness of chocolate, but it's a totally different taste. No, it's just really, really sweet. It's mm -hmm. amazing. All right, we're about to do the peppers. I'm ready for them. <laughs> Bring it on. Give me a big one. I wonder what this will taste like. Are you going? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Wow, it's almost like floral. It's really incredible. Um, yeah, so I always love to have like some new food and whenever I have a party at my house, people start raiding my kitchen, like raiding the cupboards rather, like just pulling every random thing out. And uh, sometimes things don't work, sometimes they're amazing, There's, you know, you never really know what, what's going to happen. So I was pretty excited to try chips, so let's uh, give it a try. Dig in, yeah. <laughs> this was amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait for the party tonight. I know. I'm excited too. And we're actually doing all sorts of parties and we're selling berries from our website as well. So if anyone wants some, they can go to www.miraclefruittoronto.com.
Okay, so those berries, they're still in effect. I just had a beer and it tasted like chocolate pie. But don't take my word for it, taste tripping is something you need to try for yourself. As you can see, here at The Drake, we're tirelessly seeking out new and unique experiences for our guests. Sensory experiences where you can taste something as simple as a lemon, again, for the very first time. Once again, I'm Anna Uristi, and thanks for taste tripping with me. I hope to see you soon at The Drake Hotel. Pop by anytime for a little adventure.